is this recording? Let's just assume yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Are we, are we no, we're recording now. That I'm not going to edit this out. I hope you realise that, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, if you haven't watched the song we just released, probably better do that, because that's what we're going to be talking about. And if you haven't, look at the car that's going to be there. Or there. Which corner is it? Probably that one. I think it's that one. Let's just say not here. That one. Not it's going to be not up this, there. Not this bit. Be there. Okay, right. So, uh, we just want to talk about a bit about what this song, just in general. Uh, so, Daniel, why did we decide to make a song? No clue. Because we were bored. That's it. There is no reason we made this. We thought, hmm. That would be funny. And also, I was challenged to make a sort of song in 7-8. And then I thought, yeah, let's just do that. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, he, yeah, sure. So, what is the story of this song? Um, well, you've got a goldfish that's... Named? Named not Brian. All one word with a space. Mm-hmm. And he is a loan shark. We never mention that in the song. Our goldfish is a loan shark. I think the audio is good on this. Yeah. Oh well. So, uh, we we have this loan shark called Not Brian. He goes on a quest, and apparently finds a statue containing the secrets of Jumanji because it rhymed, and we thought it was funny. It was. Uh, I can't remember, but it does. Oh, wait. It doesn't matter. It, it kind of just fit. So, he takes the statue that he's just found, containing the secrets, and kind of just, like, makes a cider, because... With the clown blood. With the Is murdered it? blood of a clown. Yes, yeah. it was a clown. Because, again, it... Fit with the syllable structure, and it sounded funny. (laughs) That's possibly the most recurring theme in this entire song. That it's funny, therefore we did it. Right, so he drinks the cider containing the secrets of Jumanji from the statue that he melted down. We don't know how he did that, he just kind of did. Doesn't matter. Right. Uh, And... So, with this cider, he sprouts arms. Remember, this is weird because he is a goldfish. And he gets some crazy new eyes. He gets some crazy new eyes and becomes immortal, pretty much. Because... Eh, it'd be funny. So, uh, at this point, not Brian the Lone Shark, or one word with a space, uh, is now uh, a god. Pretty much, right? That's indicated when he zapped someone and they Not died. Just anyone. He zapped someone and we came up with a pun uh, because of the after effects of being zapped. Might be you might be fried. So Stephen Fry gets fried by a bolt of lightning from a god goldfish from drinking. Mixture of blood, cider, and the melted secrets of Jumanji. Right. Glad we got that sorted. Those are the two verses. Oh, we should probably talk about the structure. It goes verse, verse, chorus, verse, bridge, chorus, chorus, and then it ends. Um, so back to the story. Uh, um, some. Well, what happened next? Let's jump to the chorus, because, oh wait, no, 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 verse, verse two is where uh, he summons an army of purple crabs. Mauve crabs. Mauve crabs, which are uh, He then takes over Italy, because why not? So, he has conquered Italy, what's the obvious thing to do next? 
go to Russia. Conquer the entire world and we came up with a good effect where I am talking and explaining why it's quite easy to invade Russia during winter. Just put on a jumper. That's the entire punchline. That's the joke. So he's conquered the entirety of the world and has a vodka. Because it fits somewhat. Not with the story. Do nothing fits with no, the story. He, he was in Russia. He, right. Yes, he was in Russia. Now he has vodka. Makes sense. So, uh, big jump here. He goes into the universe and discovers aliens. Right. Got it? Good. Those aliens realise that they are about to be killed by an, an omnipotent fish. So they think, well, we're going to die anyway. Let's make ourselves taste better. And then they proceed to bomb themselves to make themselves tasty. Yeah, that's a thing that happens in the song. Uh, uh, and he gives a few of the saved ones a satanic pomegranate. And that's because it rhymed with planet. Somewhat. That's the reason that it's an okay. Um, then, in the last line of each ver each chorus, I mean. Wait, you forgot to explain what the satanic pomegranate does. Oh, the satanic pomegranate explodes when you eat it. So you have the pomegranate, you open it, you eat the pomegranate, and you explode. Got it? Yeah. Makes no sense, right? Yeah. Cool. Got it. Um, so, uh, with the last ver line of each chorus, uh, it explains a bit more about the final story, which involves our fish eating the entirety of uh, the universe, exploding, and creating a new universe. The final line, if I do remember it correctly, is, now the creation myth is done, you can all go home. That's how the song ends. So, we've done uh, where we made it, story, and favourite parts. Okay, do you want to take your favourite part? It's on the floor now, it's fine, not a problem. Go. Um, my favourite part is the ukulele solo, because I made it and it's quite fun. Uh, the ukulele solo has, at some point, 64th notes, which were annoying to programme in, because there are so many of them. So you originally wrote it, then I kind of sort of changed bits to make it fit with the song more. Also yeah. known as making it more complex, your bag's about to fall. The bag fell over. Uh, my favourite bit is the ending, which has a sort of Syriac vibe to it, if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, card up there, or there, I think it's there, it's probably there. Let's just assume it's there. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it just ends with these five one polyrhythms, and it's just crazy because it's got, it's going up in. And I think I can play it actually. It's going up in. Uh, is it major or minor? Oh, it's just. It's just. It's just odd, to be honest. Uh, so. out because it's weird and the drum beats I spent ages on because it doesn't fit with anything and it's all regular notes with a 5-1 polyrhythm <laughs> and it just breaks everything it's amazing the song this video is nearly 10 minutes let's push it on a little bit further um, anything else we want to talk about no. favorite line Probably the satanic pomegranate line. Sounds pretty good. Why satanic? Why is there a satanic pomegranate? 
we don't know, it sounds funny, and it rhymes. That's pretty much it. This video is now over 10 minutes. Yeah. Does hands.